hey guys welcome in a module one of advanced excel program 2013 and in the last video we learned how to track changes and now we're going to discuss how the share workbook works in excel 2013 share workbook is one of the significant feature in excel 2013 and very useful in those organization or in those scenarios where many people have to work on the same document simultaneously and in that scenario tracking changes is a very helpful toolkit to review the changes so after enabling share workbook you can place your workbook anywhere in the share network or on, or, or on cloud and many people can work on that workbook simultaneously at the same time so let's learn how that works so here we have a, a excel workbook in which we are going to apply share workbook feature so how to enable that to you have to make sure that the, your workbook is saved first so I'm gonna save it I'm gonna name it as a training so I'm gonna click on a review tab and here's a change action and here's a share workbook so I'm gonna click it and here you would see the the list of the changes then whenever somebody you know going to make changes on this workbook or going to open this you would see that their name and time and date in this you know in this box and if you want many user to make changes on the same time then you have to give them that privilege for that you have to check this allow changes by more than one user at the same time and in advanced section we are some more uh, very exciting feature that allow you to manage those changes so you can track the history of 30 days or you know as per your requirement you can modify the dates or you can completely disable this by you know clicking here don't keep change history so you can choose any one of these options I'm gonna select uh, the default one and when those changes need to be you know applied on your workbook suppose your workbook is open and uh, you know two or three different people are working from two or different three locations and uh, what would be the you know uh, the frequency of saving those you know changes you can you know uh, apply here by default you would see this option would be selected when file is saved or you can give a recurring saving by clicking here automatically every these minutes so you can select uh, either it in one minute so, so whoever making changes on the document you know Excel will automatically going to save it after every single minute you can give these options here or you can see other users changes and here Excel will also allow you to see that which change is finally implemented on your workbook so you would see there are two options asking you which change when and second is the change being saved when so last person who saved the document those changes would be saved in your workbook and you would be able to review this by you know sharing or you know enabling these options you also can enable or disable print and filter settings here I left it as they are and going to click OK so here you would see we got an error and I intentionally you know put that number into that because Excel would not you know allow you to apply one minute of recurring you know saving option here so you at least it should be a five so I'm gonna change it with five I'm gonna click OK yes it will ensure that document is saved and all the changes or setting changes that we did are applied if I used any external reference on this workbook the sharing option will not allow to use that it will convert into error so I'm gonna click yes so now finally your workbook is shared and you can keep it anywhere on the shared network where you know uh, more than one people can open it and use and make changes into that and to unshare the workbook you have to again go in a review and in change action 
is a shared workbook you have to click on it and you have to uncheck this option so the moment you will uncheck it and click ok it will unshare the workbook from the you know shared network so I'm gonna click here click ok and here you would see this action will remove the workbook from shared use so this how you can you know undo the you know sharing I'm gonna click yes so I hope this video was very informative for you if you have any concern or any query you can post that on YouTube and in next video we will learn about data validation and please don't forget to subscribe it on YouTube so you can get update on new modules and videos that I will be adding later in this course so thank you for watching it we'll meet again